Y'all know what's going on. This is another director's perspective. It's very important that you always check in with the directors because their perspectives are extremely important. It's what you see today. So, today I'm here to talk about another BET show that's interesting to me. It's more of a reality show. Um, I've talked about it before. So, I'm talking about impact. Episode 4, um, it's more of a, like I said, a reality series um, that's kind of like doing a day, day in life with the influencers that we have today, such as Jada Wayne, um, Ari Fletcher, um, Arrogant Tay, um, Des Dior, and Lakita. Alright, so it's been interesting. I've been watching every episode so far. So, um, I like episode four a lot though. Um it's it's it 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 showed a lot, right? So and it told a lot, alright? So shout out to BT. If you wanna watch this show, you know where you can find it right in the description, and you can subscribe and like to this channel now. Subscribe to this channel. Like this video, y'all know what it is. Sometimes the tongue get twisted. You feel me? <laughs> but yeah, director's perspective. It's a, it's a director's perspective. It's a, it's a director's perspective. It's a, it's a director's perspective. But yeah, so let's get right into it. So our siblings are, you know, uh, episode three ended with our siblings at her, I think, magazine release party. It didn't really, like, elaborate too much, so I was definitely interested of how episode four was going to go, and they started it off with that scene. So, shout out to the production team as well. Shout out to the writers. Shout out to the directors. This was some good stuff. So, um, Ari is the oxymoron for me in the show, right? Because she's the youngest of her siblings, and... She, you know, have her ways, you know, um, and that she is trying to bring them together due to the love that she had for them, which makes sense. Those are her siblings. Like, who wouldn't want the best for their siblings and for their siblings to be in a good place and in a happy place? Like, I know I do, so... I definitely felt you on that, Ari, like, for sure. I felt like, you know, everybody should be like that when it comes to their siblings. Like, no judgment, just, like, love. Like, fix it, you know, get it together. I feel you, girl. So, um, like, and then also, y'all know, too, like, um, Ari, Ari, another sibling of all of theirs, I'm, I think, um, I would only assume so, um, passed away. So with that as well, not taking life for granted and not taking a sibling for granted, we respect Ari for trying to bring them together. No matter the outcome, I saw her attempt to try. And, you know, all we can do is try, you know. So I definitely respect that. I, I honor that. I feel like, you know, more siblings should be that way. I feel like, you know, we should always, no matter the age, because at the end of the day, just because you, you might be the younger sibling or the older sibling, like, none of that matters at the end of the day. It's all about togetherness and just not taking life for granted because, come on, man, we know, we know, you know, we all got aspirations, you know, so I just feel like, realistically speaking, you know, to shed love and make sure everybody in one accord, it, it's always beautiful. I ain't gonna rob y'all too much, rob y'all about that too much, cause I'm letting you know I can, I, I can talk about that, okay? So moving right along, Des Dior, she was coughing actually at the last, um, on the last episode, right when she was uh, rehearsing for the show that she was doing in New York. Um, she, I like, I, I didn't know, you know, that's my scopiosis, and I just felt like. I don't know, man. I hope she good. I hope she gonna be good. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I was just like, I hope she be good. You know, I was always thinking like, yo, she ain't say nothing about the honey and the tea. 
You gotta have the honey in the hot tea. And if you're feeling a little under the weather, go ahead and make you a hotty toddy. Just a little bit though, not too much. Um, all this development is key. You gotta know certain things, you know. But shout out to Jada, cause I, I really respect friends. I really respect the friends that invest in their friends. I said that the last episode that I talked about the impact. Like, I respect that. Up teeth power. Up teeth power. Like, you like, I'm just like, yo. What you need me to do? Like, I'm telling you, I respect that. Like, I love that. So, with her um, coughing last episode, I didn't really know what to expect this next episode. But I did think, I did think that she was going to be good, you know. Because they got such great pro producers and directors. I just felt like they understood the assignment. You know, they understood to build the momentum and have us wondering until the next episode come. You know, they know what they're doing. You know, professionals. You get what I'm saying? But yeah. So, um, episode four, getting back to it. I don't want to keep wandering off too much. But... She was fine. She did a great performance. I definitely feel like she could have like moved around a little more, but I do understand that Diz, she said she's been working on her anxiety, I believe, for the last like two years. And, you know, um, self-awareness is, is key. And, you know, just myself, as far as like being self-aware of myself, like I just feel like that has really happened over the last two years, you know? So, um... I definitely feel like I could I could I I could feel that, you know, like I understand where she's coming from a little bit when it comes to that specific topic of anxiety, even if it's not in that in her specific form, because we all different, but I get it. So she sound great and there were no calls. However, I definitely could tell this was new, you know, for her and Artist development would not hurt her whatsoever. Like, it will only add on to what she's already doing. It, will, it, it won't hurt her at all. Um, but sidebar, though. Sidebar. So, Jada, Jada and the friends and, you know, everybody that was, um, like, in the corner. If you watch the episode, you'll see them, like, down low, like, in the crowd. But, like, not in the, they're not in the crowd. They're, like, you know, in the concerts, they had the gates at the bottom, and then you put... They were in front of the stage, literally, you know? So, um... You know, there's the ordeal with the, 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 the... Having anxiety and things like that, and when it was at... They showed this scene, I believe, last episode, too. When they was actually out to eat, they had, um... One of the friends that asked, like, when, when, when you want your girls to come on... And then everybody was kind of talking about, like, they, like, I guess you can say, like, fears in a way. Um, or uncomfortability. Um, so, you just didn't know what to expect. But again, great directors. <laughs> great directors, great producers. Because at the end of the day, they're going to have you, like, on the edge of your seat trying to figure out, like, okay, well, what is the given? But they wind up coming on stage, episode four. Um, and I thought it was dope. You know, she probably felt better, more confident with them on stage. No shade to the confidence that she already had to, with herself. But I'm just saying, like, come on, y'all. Like, y'all know what it is when you moving around and you got, you know, people that really love you and really invest in you. Like, you want them to feel the same. You know, you want them to be around. You want, even if that means on stage or... It might not be a stage for everybody, but at the end of the day, it might be a company, or it might be a birthday party, or it might, you know, it could be a plethora of things, but you want your friends there to slice you and to be around, like, close-knit, arm's reach, you know? So, I do, okay? I'm a Scorpio, all right? Yeah. Let me just leave that there. All right. So, they were talking about how nervous they was going to be. They was not nervous, y'all. They, they, they real loud got up there and showed off. They showed off, man. Like, they showed off. And I was like, okay, y'all. Okay, I see y'all a little bit. I see y'all do y'all thing. Cool. 
Moving right along. Once the show was over, when you follow your dreams and you follow your passion, this is how real it gets. So when the show was over, they showed Dez or whatever. Um, she was... What was she doing? Oh, she was expressing herself about, like, just her confidence and stuff like that. And she was just saying that, you know, at the end of the day, like, she feels better now because she's built her confidence up. So I'm like, yeah, I feel that. Like, I extremely feel that. Um, I love Scorpios because we are so honest. Like, we so honest. You, you, you can't go wrong with that. A mature Scorpio. <laughs> okay? A mature Scorpio. Alright. Alright, she should um, definitely continue to mature. She got some maturing to do. If you don't keep shit moving, the world will move without you. Now, that's a quote. I'm quoting Ari. She said it on episode four. That's nothing but facts. I'm letting you know now. Get it together. <laughs> Whatever it is, get it together. All right. So, definitely love this episode because my girl, Lala, been watching her since. <laughs> you got served. Okay. All right, she was actually, I heard on the radio a couple of times too prior to. However, I really paid attention to her and you guys said it. And I was like, that's Lala! I felt that. Like, for real. All right. So, she came, she was on the um, episode. She was actually um, visiting Tay to, because Tay said he had an idea, I'm sure. And... She came over and he showed her the idea and she was just like, I don't know. She he like, I, I see this. I live for this. Like, this is it. This is it for you. Like, I see this, right? And you just got to trust. You just got to trust the ones that really got you and always have you looking good. You got to trust them in some way, shape, or form. You got to trust them. I feel that. I understand that. So, Lord, I trusted them. And... Um, she pulled up, you know, they, they had a conversation while, of course, you know, her style, her hairstylist, um, definitely makes sense that they had conversation. Uh, and they were talking about, like, the sex scenes that we're acting, because, you know, Lala is an actress as well, um, and philanthropist as well. Um, however, um... Lala basically brought up what was Tay's plan because the conversation escalated once, you know, after they got past the acting part. The conversation escalated and was just, you know, like, what? Lala was like, what you got going on? Because I ain't really seen much, you know? And I feel that. Like, I want more friends like that. I'm manifesting it right now. Like, seriously, because... If your friends don't hold you accountable, like, who gonna hold you accountable outside yourself? For some odd reason, like, <sighs> friends be making it realer, you know? Like, it just be making it real. Like, it, I don't know. Like, I'm just being honest right now. Like, it's just different when somebody coming at you telling you outside yourself. Like, whole nother topic. Anyway. Yeah, so they was talking about, you know, his dreams and things like that and what he was doing. And she was just, and um, Lala was just checking Tay, basically letting them know, like, look, what's going on at the end of the day? Look, we not, we get the moving, basically. Get on it. What is it? So Tay wound up having a, um, finishing her hair. She loved it. And then he wound up having a vision board party. Now, with the vision board party, it was a group of his girls. Dream Doll was there. Ari Fletcher was there. And a, 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 like maybe like eight more girls or women was there, right? Now, they, it was nice. 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 But I'm going to backtrack a little bit because in the conversation with Lala Tay, he was like, when Lala was like, what's going on? He, Tay had responded, and he was like, yeah, um, so, you know, I want to have my own salon, things like that. And she was like, well, what's stopping you? And he was basically saying, like, you know, he don't want to mess up. Like, he wanted to be right because, no, he just didn't want to mess up. Like, he ain't, like, want to fail. And Lala was just like, man, it come with the game. Like, you got basically, like, understand how to fall and get up. In a sense, you know, but at the same time, have a plan. 
which I respect, you know. But, but, Tay said, actually, Lala said, everything not going to go. When she said that, I was like, everybody can't go. <laughs> everything not going to go. You got to know that. That's why you got to open those multiple paths. You feel me? Because it's important to be innovative and creative so that you can get in those doors. Another conversation. So, um, but then Tay responded and he said, but I can't settle. And I felt that too. You know, like I felt that as well. Like, ah, I don't know. Like, Y'all ever felt like y'all settled and then, you know, it was like, damn, I could have did that better. And then did it better. Message. Anyway. Um, Jada Wade shows how important her business is. And she begins to talk about Loyal and your Sean play date because Ari likes to play. She said I'm more professional, and I took that as a little shade. So, I'm just going to make that clearer and make that known. I felt the shade, girl. Being behind um, with her color line has taken a toll on her customers' reactions on Instagram. She did elaborate on that a little bit. And I just feel like y'all be a little too harsh. I just... <laughs> I understand y'all don't care and it's okay, but you know, be like understand that it's a process. That's why I like this show because it's showing the process. Like, so you understand it's not really her fault. Another conversation. <laughs> anyway, so, um, Tucson be hitting the hookah. I got a friend. <laughs> I got a friend. His name is Germs, man. Jeremy be hitting the hookah. Oh wow. She wanna remember remember Trey. <laughs> I need a little juice. Okay. So Tucson, they brought up that um Tucson always have his portable hookah and I'ma tell you, I don't really smoke hookah like that, but I have a lot like I feel like all my friends smoke hookah. <laughs> I mean, I smoke it, but I don't smoke it like that. Like, I don't prefer it, right? So, Tucson had this personal hookah, and I just thought about my friend that got a vape, and it's like, his personal hookah. So, I definitely feel like I feel them. I feel them, because they do not, like, Jeremy do not play. He always got that fucking vape. Like, no matter what, he got that vape. Anyway, so, um... Ari and your song um, pulled up to, I think it was like a, like a kid place, a kid like jungle gym, if you will, with slides and things they got to climb up and everything. I don't remember the name of the place, but she was meeting Jada there uh, so that your song and lawyer can have a play date. So it was cool you know it was it was it was cool um i think that they handled it well i think that they were really trying to get to know each other i think that it was a good sit down um she was talking about um they were talking about their business they was talking about different um Like, if, they, if Ari want to have another baby, if Jada want to have another baby. They were just having, like, conversation, right? So, um, Ari said that Jada's childish because Jada's younger than her. And I really felt that. Like, I really felt that because I, I used to hang with a lot of older people. So, I feel like at the end of the day, with older individuals, you got to understand that they going to clown you, bruh. You going to get clowned, bruh. You going to get clowned, bruh. You're going to be clown, bro. You're gonna they're gonna treat you like the kid all the time. Even if you're 26 and they 30, they're gonna treat you like the kid. That's just what it is. Like that's just how it go. And I know. So Ari was like, Jada, you childish. You 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 young. You wanna ask me my age. You too young to even know my age. 
I caught that. I felt that. <laughs> anyway, JD is young though. JD young as shit. Anyway, um, I don't know. Next thing was definitely R being pregnant. Y'all think she pregnant? I feel like she pregnant. I don't know, but I feel like she pregnant though. I feel like she pregnant and I feel like it's money bag, yo. I, t I said this like two years ago. I didn't put it on camera. <laughs> I said this two years ago though. I was like, no, she's going, no, was it two years ago or a year ago? Whenever, no shade, but whenever Tayana got pregnant with the, their daughter, I was like, watch Ari go and have a baby with some with Samaria. Because I feel like Ari was like, that's enough. <laughs> One too many. I'm not rocking like that no more. <laughs> I don't know. I just felt that way. Maybe I'm petty. I'm just saying. I don't know. You know, don't blame me. They give they giving me the house. They giving me the content. They giving me the things to go off of, okay? But that's just what I feel. Um, but I definitely think I already probably pregnant, but it'll be a good like flip for the, the episode five to come out and she's not pregnant. Like that would be a good flip. Like that would be unexpected. But I just feel like she's pregnant. I feel like she's pregnant. Y'all feel like she's pregnant? Cause I feel like she's pregnant. Money bag yo posted that video. I mean that that picture, and then. She been making like little subliminal tweets like a while, like a little while back. I think she pregnant. Y'all tell me. She's pregnant. I know she pregnant. Anyway, that's a director's perspective. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and the in the description you can definitely hit those links. Download the app. Check out this episode. It is episode four, season one of The Impact. It's all about the influencers, baby. It's all about the influencers right now. Make sure y'all tune in. Don't be late. Don't miss it. Just tune in. Yoshi out.